hello and welcome back today in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the performance matrix so how to calculate different performance matrix for your strategy now as you can see here I am going to use the FFN libraries which is financial function for Python libraries to calculate all now before that let me just tell you very quickly about why we need to calculate this all performance matrix of your strategy of, of, of your trading strategies now let's say um, you know you have only um, a return for your um, strategy right by looking at the return you cannot really tell the strategy is good or bad let's say you have two strategies which one is giving 60% return but another is giving 70% return now the strategy which is giving 70% return which is second strategy but but has a maximum drawdown of let's say 45% or 50% drawdown maximum drawdown so definitely uh, you know as a hedge fund manager um, it is not a wise decision to go for the second strategy if your let's say first strategy is 60% return but, but a minimum maximum drawdown is giving only 10% so definitely you will go for first strategy so the intention is by looking at the only one parameter or one performance matrix which is return you cannot really tell which strategy is good right so for that we need a whole lot of other matrices um, you know to understand uh, and to take a decision which strategy is better now for that we are going to use here ffn or financial function for python so this financial function uh, is a libraries okay inside this there are a lot of uh, functions are there where actually you can go to know a lot of things like your you know uh, sharpe shatino calma ratio information ratio alpha beta and a lot of things you can calculate easily okay so this is the documentation link uh, please go through that i have already given this documentation link here you can just go through it you can see here ffn is a library that contains many useful functions and all so i'm going to uh, you know show you how to calculate and all this is the github account you can just go through as well okay so let's get into this and uh, see how we are going to do that so first of all definitely you should have the uh, return data now here uh, what i did i just randomly created a, a data frame okay uh, with with my return uh, column now uh, let's say first 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 what you need to do you have to import some libraries so i'm importing here pandas numpy and ffn libraries and definitely matplotlib as well so once you import all the libraries the next what i did here is i i have just created some random number random number in the sense random number for return of my strategy so i have started from 1st of january 2010 and uh, and then the uh, you know for 1000 days okay now um once okay so this this is my your this is my data frame and uh, so let's see how my data frame is actually looking like so what it did it here i just created a equity column and my equity column is started with a capital of 100 so i'm assuming that i am create i am just start i've started this trading with a um, initial capital of 100 dollar okay so let's see how my data is looking like see this is what my data is looking my data frame is looking like so this is my dead column okay i started from 1 1st of january 2010 and then this is my return return and this is my um, equity column and this is my capital so i started with 100 capital in initial 100 capital then my capital is got increased to 101.66 then it is 109.4 and so on and this is because of my return because my whenever my return is got increased it is increased by my return percentage and when my return is decreased it, it will decrease by my return percentage okay so then so this is my equity so if i will put this one i will get my equity curve as well okay so once you got this data which i have created here randomly but uh, you know um, in reality you should have this data because uh, you have the strategy and you know what what is your monthly or daily return for it okay so you should have this data uh, just for illustration purpose i have created this 
manually here randomly okay all right cool so once you got these so what the next page is simple very simple you just need to create a variable i have created a variable called perm which is uh, performance matrix and then you need to put this ffn.core performance stats and then these two you need to put one is your data and one is your risk free rate so here i am assuming my risk free rate is five percent um you know for you you just need to put your risk actual risk free rate and uh, the data definitely i'm i'm here i'm using the data my equity column because that is my um you know because on this i need to calculate everything so this, this equity column is my data okay if you see here uh, in this documentation so what you need to do is just click on api and inside this you will get four packages one is your ffn package one is your core model one is data model and utilities this ffn package packages is basically for a group statistics like let's say you have four or five of stocks or four or five of strategies uh, in one go you will get you know result of all the strategies and core model will give you when you have one strategy or one stock and this data is definitely when you want to import data like import the stock price from the market from different apis and uh, utilities is very small uh, techniques where you can use this so definitely i'm going to use here data model where uh, you can you can explore one by one here but uh, you know due to short time i'm just putting the data model here and i can just uh, tell you what you to do quickly uh, sorry the core model now ffn dot core and then group starts and price right so this is the only thing you can see here um, that's the things i have used here so my ffn dot core performance stats right so i think core model okay in inside core model then here you will go uh, sorry in fm ffn package inside this package you will get sorry in ffn package you will get core model and you will get uh, you will get this performance stats model okay this core model is basically for your um group group one like you have multiple stock or multiple strategies and this one performance stats is for only single stock here i am using performance stock because i have only one strategy for one single stock so ffn.core.performance stats right so here this one i just put it there exactly ffn.core.performance stats and then here price this price is here for me the price is this one equity so i just put data equity and uh, risk free rate so risk free rate i just put is 0 0.5 which is 5 percent so once you done that now you you have created a perm uh, variable now you just want to understand what is there this is nothing but your ffn dot core performance stats okay which is this one now once you done that so you are done you are just need to go one by one function to see so i i am not going to um, you know show you all the function whatever here but mostly i'm going to show 90 percent of things is going to cover here so first is your display so this display display function is going to show you a very descriptive statistics okay now you can see what is the descriptive statistics i'm talking about you will get total return you will get your sharpe you will get your CAGR compounding annual growth rate. You will get your maximum drawdown. Here you will get your annualized return, which is your month to date, three months, six months, year to date, one year, three year, five year, and you will get your increment increment interval, which is 25.81, nothing but your CAGR. Okay. Now you will get your periodic, like daily, monthly, yearly. You will get sharpe mean, volatility, skew, kurtosis, best, worst. Now you will get your drawdowns, your maximum drawdown is minus 7.51, your average is minus 1.87 and you have a 13, 13 days of drawdown and you will get your average up month, average down month like that. So this is a very, uh, you can say, um, you know, descriptive statistics of, of all of your, you know, data. Now if you want a details one, so definitely you just put stats that will give you 
it details one like your start date your end date your history rate your total return your CAGR, maximum drawdown, CALMA ratio, MTD, month to date, and then you'll get three months, six months, all the way. There are a lot of things are there here you can see. Okay, one by one you can go and check. Now, I, let's say I, I don't want need all these things, but I just need a return. Or let's say I just need like, uh, I just need like three months return, six months return, something like that. Then you can just try this function, which is your display look back returns if you click on that you will get only like month to date three months six months y to date i think this is already here this is already here already if you want to see this one see so so this is how you can you know try a different function and you can see a different let's say you want to put your equity curve you can just try your equity curve here so this is your equity curve if you see you started with 100 and then it is keep increasing this is your equity this is your equity curve um this one this one okay this one if you want to plot this one you can just simply see this equity curve okay and now let's say you want to um see your drawdown curve okay if you want to do that so you just run it and you can see your drawdown curve this is your drawdown curve I can see your maximum drawdown hitting here, right? So this is almost what minus 0 0.7. So this should be minus 0 0.7 is here. So this is nothing but your maximum drawdown, which is your minus 7.51 maximum drawdown. Now, so this is minus 7.5 because, because this is 0 0.07. So my 0 0.71 is here. Okay. All right. So this is how you can, uh, you know, see or calculate your performance metrics of a strategy. And you can, there are a lot of other functions are here. You can just go through one by one and you can try and calculate all these things. It's a very easy and straightforward method. So I do agree that for the hedge fund managers, they really, uh, you know, build up their own uh, kind of uh, backtesting platform to get all these things but for a student or you know someone who is doing research or you know uh, very new to this market they they might might be you know um, it will take a lot of time and effort to create their own so instead of that you can use this function and uh, you can get I do agree that uh, there are a lot of other functions packages and a lot of things are there in Python like PyAlgo, PyFolio and a lot of things. Quantropian has already started all these things. So, uh, but I can tell you this is very easy and straightforward and please go through this document and also this is your GitHub link as well I have given. So please go through this all and try to find out. So in one shot you will get everything but still if you want to calculate some other like your information ratio or you can say benchmark, um, you know, index like uh, your alpha. Uh, and beta and all kind of things or you can say Jensen Alpha or whatever. So these are things you can try and uh, if you have any question or queries so feel free to put into the comment section definitely I will get back to you and I will answer try to answer all of your questions. That's all I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will definitely try to bring some new informative uh, video for all the algo traders or you know all the people who are interested into data science machine learning and uh, algo trading and quantity finance and all kind of things thank you so much for watching this video thanks